my dear former senator she usani says probably they should send sunday Igboho to come and fight the b-boys in the north <laughs> this has been replied though he's been thoroughly replied he has been replied by femi fani kayo they say ah, -ah. What's, what 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 is uh, the what is the re, what is the resemblance with uh, with with a, with, an, with an elephant and an ant? There is no resemblance now. Send your mighty Allah to go and chase out the b boys for you. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Leave Sunday, Igboho. Send mighty Allah. To send my ATL headsmen to drive out the B boys. Femi Fani Kayode, Sean Sheu Sani. <laughs> the former evasion minister and activist, Femi Fani Kayode, has replied Senator Sheu Sani on inviting Sunday Boho to fight the B boys in the north. <laughs> Can you imagine? Recently, Yoruba activist Sunday Boho has been determined to protect his father's land and drive out all killer headsmen terrorizing citizens in the region. He recently arrived in Ogun State to help in restoring peace and order. Senator She Usani is an author, playwright, and a human rights activist. He was also a leading figure in the struggle for the restoration of democracy in Nigeria. He has recently asked that Sunday Boho should be invited to help drive out the B-Boys in the North. He, this didn't seem to go well with Femi Fandi Kayode as he stated that Yoruba activists should be left alone. He suggested that Maeti Allah and Hetzman should, should be those invited to fight against the terrorists in that region. Don't send Sunday Boho. Sorry, my brother. This is what uh, Femi Fandi Kayode sent him. Sorry, my brother. Oh, uh, uh, what am I hearing? But I'm sure he's too busy cleansing, uh, cleansing the southwest. He has no time to come and work with what you created. In the north, you guys are pampering them, telling them that what they are doing is good. You are encouraging them. Sunday is not your Messiah. He has not finished with the south. I'm sorry, he's busy working in the south. May I suggest to you that you send my ATL. You send your cattle headsmen, send your headsmen to the Sabo to help drive out the B-boys. Send them to, 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 instead to drive out the B-H. What are you inviting Sunday for? What has Sunday done? Sunday has no hand in what you have created. You created it. Work with it. Why some are of the opinion that it is a military job to keep the country safe. Some think this, those with power can also volunteer and help us because the military is doing nothing doing nothing about it someone from the north said why is he now inviting sunday isn't he supposed to be one of the generals that should speak with regards to uh, helping buhari fight this they are talking about uh, sunny somebody else said well i don't doubt him if you are close to him if you take him by his words he will help clean out the land if the government can work with him another one says put him in your payroll you cannot be using him for free and the and the reaction is just endless somebody else said why 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 are nigerians like this they want to now use sunday boho to 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 diffuse the monster they've set up they should work with it and say one somebody has said sweet one femi fani fm femi fani kayode point one give it back to them they should go and use their mighty Allah that is that is terrorizing the south to sterilize them in the north to take them away to help them with the sabo forest and bring back their children that we adopted you know, so this is the discussion presently going on. I don't understand what uh, She Wusani thought he saw. That he felt, okay, maybe they should bring Sunday to the to the north. Bring him to the north for what? What's happening? Is there Christmas going on in the north? Are they celebrating Christmas? You know, I'm just trying to, you know, make. Is is there something really happening? Because if you look at this, if you look at everything that is going on, you can see that the north is fueling what is currently happening. The North is aiding it. They have no problem with it. You are the one disturbing yourself, thinking that, oh, you've heard of this, then you are, mm -mm, mm -mm. listen, listen, don't get too emotionally carried away, okay? They are quite happy with it. If you hear their governor speak, if you hear them, if you hear their display and what have you, you will know that this set of people are happy with what is going on. You are the one thinking that they are suffering. No, you are the one thinking so. So my people, this is what is happening, you see? Um, I, I, I I understand I understand Shea Usani. I understand him because I mean when somebody needs help he needs help with what is currently happening 
Honestly, the North really needs help. But how the help will come is when they are determined to have the help. As we speak, the president does not want anything to happen to the people causing the atrocity. As a matter of fact, he's protecting them. To be very candid, the president's disposition has shown that he's quite happy with what is going on. He's only trying to pretend to you that uh, he's not aware. No, no. He's very aware. He's happy about the ethnic cleansing going on. You are the one thinking that uh, the president uh, is, is, uh, is touched by what's happening. That's not the truth. That's not a true reflection of what is really going on with the president. No. The president is very quite happy. I say that because he was in Castina. Okay? He went recently. He just came back from Castina yesterday. He was in Castina to he was in Castina for his own uh, personal time and children we're not talking about that uh, adults or children were kidnapped did you know the president did not go there before after and even so what kind of man is that president of a country with no heart no emotions no he has a hand in it there is, is somehow some way linked to what is happening and that's why he created he sophisticatedly with wisdom created a system by which he said, if they said they have repented, you know, uh, release them, okay? Release them, uh, put, put them in a place for three months, uh, tell them to read or recite some things for three months, they have repented. Now put them into the army, put them into the police, okay? Inculcate them into leadership. That's what the president is telling you. So how do you reconcile that? He does not have a hand in it. I doubt it seriously. He does have a hand in it and is quite happy with what is happening. You are the one who thinks that the president regrets. No, no, no. Regret what? He's very happy. This is the mission statement. If not, why will people who have made women widows, children orphan, men widowers, be allowed to go scot-free? Why somebody else? I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not exonerating the crime. You know, of somebody who has done Yahweh will, will be beaten, put in prison for donkey years. But you, these ones who have displaced people, turned the country upside down. Three months, you said they have, they, they, they were not in prison, no. they were in a place where they are giving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In fact, with dessert, okay? Well looked after. They go for their prayers, do everything they want to do. And you say that uh, they are being repentant in what way, in what form? Can you see the injustice going on in our country? So this is what it is. Okay, Sunday, Sunday, uh, Shehu Sani, God bless you, but Sunday is busy cleaning the, the southern region. Leave us a comment.